everybody. We're back at uh, the Coulter residence on the big uh, garage that I've been promising you guys for quite a while. Um, we were gonna pour it today. You can tell the weather's been a little bad. It snowed last night, so we're pushing the pour a couple days. I was hoping Joey could be here. This is Joey Fern. He's uh, from Vancouver, BC. And you guys know his product a lot because I talk about it often, but he's, uh, his family kind of invented the fab form system, which obviously I'm in love with. All the Zons, the Zuckles, the fabric form footing, and uh, it's, it's his deal. So they came down to visit us, kind of, we showed them around some job sites, roast guys, and uh, Joey's here just looking at all the stuff we're doing. And I'm gonna take you guys back to the warehouse in a minute. He's gonna show you some stuff, but. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, and uh, it's always exciting to see your products being used outside of your little bubble. So we appreciate the support. Yeah, we, we... All the innovative things that you're trying to do. Cool. Yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna we're, we're not gonna pour today, but I'll probably bring you that before this video comes out because we're gonna pour it in a couple days. But yeah, Joey's flying out tomorrow, so we're just kind of showing him around. We showed him some of the cool pools. Like we're going back over to row, show you some other stuff. But uh, it looks good. Yeah, looks yeah. good. So. Cool, well we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so we're back over at uh, Roast's Warehouse and I just kinda, because Joey's here, I wanted to kinda just rehash all the uh, ICF and also, you guys know Daryl from a couple of the other videos. Um, you know, he's one of the main uh, cogs in this wheel that makes everything go. But this is also Chris. This is the guy who responds to all the emails, gets you guys your quotes out and really just kinda runs everything here day to day. So these are all the people you'll be talking to, um, but obviously with Joey here, just kind of wanted to, he's been here telling us about all kinds of new stuff that's coming and everything, so I'll, I'll let him, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. But this is the stuff you guys are probably used to, um, but we were talking about you know the monopore legs and right. uh, everything's pretty normal, but these came out fairly recently. Yeah, so these are new levelers. This is just an updated version for uh, adjusting your ICF walls on top of footings. We were on a job earlier today. They had steps where the steps weren't exactly 16 inches. Yep. Or their actual corners were at a plumb. So we screwed these onto yeah, the wall. Screwed it on here and zipped it right up to level because the guys that were uh, we were kind of helping out had this was one of their very first pours, and uh, yeah, they they had set it on a footing that wasn't perfectly level and it was down just about a half an inch, and we lifted it up even though it had already been foamed to the concrete. These things have their acne threads, so yeah. they're a lot stronger. And they're reusable because you just use them until you get it level and then uh, yeah, you so can you take can get them off. Concrete splash all over them, spray foam, it doesn't matter, it'll still operate the way it's supposed to. Yeah, very cool. And the other thing that they've come out with, you know, these are the normal Zuckles, you guys have seen them in a bunch of my videos. And I haven't shown these a lot, but I did sort of feature them a little bit in the last video. Is your Z braces. Yeah. T walls with, you know, whether it's, name the brand, they're all different and they, none of them are great. These things make it so much easier. Compared yeah. to running so, straps through the wall. Yeah, every every manufacturer offers a T-block, but if you actually talk to them behind the scenes, they say they hate it. No one makes money producing it, no one makes money shipping it, no one makes money storing it, and it's worse for the guys. And building. the guys building them hate them too because they create um, you know butt joints, and they also, in my opinion, they're just jank janky. I used to use a lot of Nudura ones back in the day, and the way they felt, they yeah. folded, they just moved too much. Uh, the other way we used to do it was running um, running strap through the wall and hooking around the back side yeah. of it with fox box and stuff. This solves all of that and it's rock solid. I mean, we, we, we saw a guy climbing on them yesterday. Yeah, I it was a great not idea. For it. Yeah, not, not designed for it, but I saw it happen. You can be stepping on them, but yeah, you'll have two of these per course. That'll yeah, reduce all your strapping. Yeah. Depending on how high you're going, you're still going to reinforce the back side to prevent pressure from inwards on the wall. Yeah, and especially if you cut a web, you know, yeah. or if you cut where a web's freely floating in that T wall, you definitely want to put, you know, two by fours or plywood on the back and side. And then another use of these is for pre building your window box. If you're pre building your window box on the floor, you gotta use these for a quick square on your 90s, then you can lift them up a lot easier into the wall. And just take them off. And then just a quick, easy square for pre Yeah, and we thought about that. So. There you go. Well, yeah, guys, so um, obviously we got this video coming, and we're going to do one on the hot tubs this week, just kind of a double a double dose since we got a lot of cool stuff happening. But, Joey, we've been talking since they started carrying Fabform a couple years ago, and Roast is stocking all this product. Every bit of it is in stock. You know, they can ship it the same day usually. So that's kind of unusual. You know, it's... It's unheard of. It's unheard of. Unheard so of. So that's where Roast... dealers say they're stocking, but they're just bluffing. So these guys have everything... <laughs> In stock and can ship usually day of order I'm assuming so, so we're happy to be working with these guys and with uh, a shorter version of myself <laughs> uh, so it's, it's been great 
Joey, thank you, brother. <laughs> we'll see you next time. All right. important to note things that you shouldn't do when I'm showing these videos as well and we didn't do much of the forming on this job uh, one of my buddies did who's just getting into ICF and he has his guys haven't done a lot of the bracing of the fab form stuff and they did a really good job but they had a few places where they just got the bracing up above the scaffolds which made it kind of cumbersome to walk on um, as far as functionally it worked great except for walking on the scaffold while you're pouring so you see me here walking on top of the wall, and that's never a good idea, guys. Don't do that. Um, it does show how stable they are once you get them up, but it's still not a good idea. Um, like I said, at this point, we just needed to get it done. Didn't really have time to move all of the uh, the turnbuckles, but um, worked out fine, but just don't do that at home. It's, it's a stupid idea. You good? Okay, guys, I just wanted to do the uh, final video for this pour. We're just about done. I think we got one more truck coming in. We, we poured 70 yards today in, uh, in walls that were upwards of 13 feet on the back side. So a lot of guys that, you know, discuss how to pour tall walls. Our next lift on this building will be 20 more feet. We'll do it in one shot. And the Zant and Zuckel system, the Fabform system, makes it so much easier because of that horizontal whaler, it's so much more solid than your traditional vertical bracing. So, like I said, guys, um, this is a really fun project. It's got a lot of concrete in it, but um, I'll keep bringing you guys updates on this and a bunch of other stuff. Also, have a video about our hot tub line coming out this weekend as well. But it went well. 